going to make a picket fence. And I'm going to use this log, which is also the cant center of a beehive that I made earlier, which was a vertical tree hive. And I have to go through these steps every time. I've got to unlock the height, just the height. Three quarters of an inch is about three turns. Check the height with a pre-existing picket. Lock the height. Check the water, make sure it's hitting the blade. Adjust the water flow. Recheck the water flow. Increase the throttle. Proceed to cut the next picket. I've got to adjust the stops so that I don't cut them off the saw. And I like to stand on it to give it a little more stability. I was wondering why my boards were getting fatter at the end because I was standing on them and they were flexing under my weight. Oops. Also heard a squeak. I rolled the carriage back and forth. Here it is. I made this extension got it a little bit too tight of tolerances and rather than using my grinder I decided to do the lazy way the hammer and that's my brush that sweeps the rails keeps the dust off of there so the grooves those wheels do not get full of sawdust as much anymore and this is the other end of the log that I used to make a beehive box earlier. I'm going to make some pickets out of this one also. Three quarter inch wide boards. Many, many, many slices. Now I'm going to flip it over so my dogs don't get caught and use a pre-existing slice of wood to hold it up a little bit. You can see it kicked it out just a bit. Now I'm going to stand it on end and square up the edges and take a slice of what I'm not going to be using because there are various thicknesses that's just not quite right. I'm going to make the slice halfway, and now we have two groups of boards. 